going on to you virgos there's a link in the comment section below called the link tree link click on it it will it will uh, redirect you to a website which is all the ways to financially support me um i just want to say appreciate it okay we're almost at eleven thousand already really appreciate it and thank you for everybody that's going to come through in the future get tarot readings birth chart readings from me appreciate it so <clears throat> so for you virgos you have the chariot the six of cups and the knight of cups immediately right very interesting reading right off the bat this whole thing is interesting um, so for you Virgos, you Virgos have the Chariot and the Six of Cups. The Chariot represents a very... Though the Six of Cups represents somebody that you know coming back, reaching back out, saying hey. And the Chariot represents the unusual relationship that you have with this person. I do see that there's some form of romantic interest between the two of you there's some form of romantic interest between the two of you but the thing about it is it's very unusual right it's very interesting and the reason why is because well let's get into it right um you have the knight of uh, cups and the judgment they seem to think something about you virgos that is not necessarily very uh it's it's not really a part of your character. I'm not going to I'm not going to get into the whole moralism or the politics of good and evil and all of that. Those that's politics. Okay? That's politics. But they they think that you Virgos, they think that there's something wrong with you Virgos in the sense that they see that you Virgos aren't excited over life or they think something about your character is messed up. They like you or they may find you uh, romantically interesting, but they just they just keep throwing that jacket onto you that they just there's something about you Virgos that they can't necessarily quite uh, put their finger on. And because of that, they just seem to have an idea that you're somehow. Uh, 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 playing the field. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. We're going to clarify some cards afterwards. The Queen of Cups, they think of themselves, okay, so they think of themselves as they need to stay clear from you Virgos because if they don't, you Virgos can end up hurting them. You can end up breaking their heart, right? So, But at the same time, again, they're coming back. So what is what exactly is the point of all of that in the first place? The, you know, they they think that you can break their heart or they think that you Virgos will break their heart, but then they're coming back. They're trying to reach back out again because they're even though they're afraid of you Virgos breaking their heart, which makes absolutely no sense. And then you have the Knight, excuse me, the Queen of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. They want to make sure that, oh, OK, I'm OK, I'm, I'm starting to understand. I'm, I'm understanding deeper what it is what it is virgo is that they are afraid that you're going to break their heart they are they are afraid of the virgo moniker right the shyster the hustler the gigolo they're afraid of that right um because they think that you are handsome attractive right whichever one you go with um but they, but and and they know that a lot of you are very much so sociable, and that you are liked and admired by a lot of other people. And the thing about it is, that's the situation, right? They they get insecure when they are around you, Virgos, because to them, it's the okay. To them, it's the Queen of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. They don't necessarily know which one. They don't know if you're going to leave them or if you're faithful. They don't know that. So it's like for them, they're like, if I get with this Virgo, right, that's how this is how they're thinking. They're thinking to themselves, if I get with this Virgo, there's no telling what this Virgo may do. This Virgo can end up leaving me high and dry. And I put so much effort into getting to know them. And then the thing about it is that the Ace of, of uh, Cups right or i should say more so more accurately to give you some more information they just want to make sure that they they 
They hang around you because they like you. That's why it is that they're coming back in the first place. But at the same time, they're trying to like in their own way, make sure that you Virgos aren't going to play them out and like start to humiliate them and treat them like trash after a while and toss them to the side if they were to show you love and affection. So the Ace of Cups now represents you. The Ace of Cups represents us Virgos because I am a Virgo myself, right? And the Ace of Cups represents you have a cup. Meanwhile, you Virgos have a cup that you are willing to give to other people. So once again, it, it really is this misconception of people spending way too much time on the wrong stuff. They're so preoccupied with if you're going to hurt them, if you're playing games with them, what you're doing, what you're not doing, yada, 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 to the point where that's the thing that ends up messing them up. Because I personally am a Virgo myself, and plenty of the of people that I have liked will will like to place, you know, they're playing games, but they but one of the thing is this this ideology, this this ideology, this delusion of I'm a player. And I'm like, where exactly are you getting this ideology from? Because I like to look good, because I like to, you know, got the diamond earrings in my ear, real diamonds, by the way you know, to match my chains that I have, the gold chains that I have and stuff like this that I bought with my own money or whatnot after years of saving up. It's like, what makes you think that? Just because I like to look good? And it's the ideology of, it's it's really that ideology of like, you can't, you Virgos can't be interested in them because you have so many people that you're interested, that, that is interested in you. But then, so then they have to create a scenario where they dislike you now so that they can talk to you. They can talk about you to their goofy friends about what it is that you did. You know, the latest scoop on the news, the IE drama. And the page of swords and the four of pentacles is really about how you, so, so what they'll do is they'll try to draw the line at every time. They'll try to draw the line every minute of the day. So that's this right here is a real cautionary tale because this person is going to come back and all of that. But this person still has this, 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 th this is the last straw. They drawn a line right here. So I honestly see that, you know, if you Virgos don't really like that type of stuff, I really don't see you're going to stay or stick it out with them for a very long time. Because the anger, because you you Virgos are going to start to get upset at how it just seems like everything is the last straw with them. You know, anything, you can't say, you're walking on eggshells. You can't say anything. Because the minute that you say anything, the minute that they see you talking to somebody else, even if you're not smashing them, it could be you just literally having a conversation. But you know where your boundaries are. I can't explain to y'all how many times I've gotten to know somebody myself and they thought that I was talking to somebody else in that way of creeping, doing my own thing. And I'm like, I'm like, because why I'm talking to this person, I'm like, how did you get any kind of indication? And, and the thing about it is that they just had to create that problem in their head. I would try to stop them from doing that. But they just decided they had to do that. So ultimately, I would let them do that. And the thing about it is, that's the same type of scenario for y'all. They they haven't changed. This person, this, this ex or potential ex, right? This person that you have some sort of romantic interest in, they haven't changed, Virgo. They're still the same way where they still get insecure about you doing your thing. And, and this is what I'm talking about. Aquarius, Virgo, Gemini. I think it was another zodiac sign too. But it, it was Aquarius, Virgo, Gemini, those three, right? Libra, I think. Anyway, those three to four, three to, I want to say five. I know I'm missing others. But those three that I named off the top of my head, Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, those three zodiac signs, 
meet more people than than other zodiac signs on average in their life. Most people in their life meet around anywhere between a thousand to six thousand people that they have legitimate conversations with and legitimate interactions with. I'm not talking about just a brush in the street. Most people, it's around a thousand to about six thousand. The average Aquarius, Virgo, or Gemini has more than 6,000. So they they need to get over it, honestly. So let's clarify the uh, Six of Cups. This is the thing, Virgo. They need to get over it. The Knight of Cups, Two of Wands, the World, and last but not least, oh, one more. Six of Pentacles. So, okay, so to clarify the Six of Cups. So the Knight of Cups... And the two of wands represents how, once again, they can't seem to stay there. They can't seem to keep away, Virgo. You're, you're too interesting. They like you too much. And that's the catch-22. That's the double-edged sword, so to speak, that they're caught up in. The, the idea that they like you, Virgos, but then at the same time, they're insecure. And they can't stand the fact that you know other people, that you associate with other people. You know, that you're that you're chummy with those other people without having to put yourself in that situation to break somebody's heart by cheating on them. And then you have the world, the world and the nine of pentacles. This means that you Virgos be trying to do everything you honestly can, specifically you Virgos that have your mind and your heart in the correct place. That, again, their misconception of you is totally off. Because when your mind and your heart is in the correct place, as it is that I've said before, if a Virgo loves you and they're not trying to cheat, they they don't, they have gotten it through their head that they're not going to cheat. A Virgo is not going to cheat. Same thing with these two cards. This is about how you Virgos actually try to safeguard the relationship. You actually try to keep... The relationship safe by making sure that people don't get a chance to to put their two cents in on the relationship because that's what the world represents the world represents guarding as well and safeguarding and not only that but you also enjoy when you like somebody and you're in a relationship with them you find something about them and mwah, you you're enthralled, you're in love with them. But again, but the Six of Pentacles, no. Other people want to see more. They want more. They want you to contribute more. They want, <laughs> but what ends up happening is they're not actually contributing. They spend so much time trying to get you con to contribute. They're so, I said this before, Virgo, they're so worried about all the stupid stuff that they shouldn't even be worried about. You know what happens? They end up getting themselves caught up in a situation where now they're the villain. Now they're the ones that's super crazy. They're the ones that's wilding out. They're the ones that's insecure. Now they, you know, they, they, they like you so much, but they find themselves disrespecting you. Can't do that because then you Virgos would leave. So let's clarify the Page of Swords. Matter of fact, let's clarify the Four of Pentacles. Ace of Swords, Four of Wands, Page of Wands, Temperance, and the Chariot. It says, you know, you know these five cards say. The, these five cards basically say, I can't show it to you because there's a lot of cards, but the Ace of Swords and the Four of Wands represent how you can be in a relationship with one person without breaking their heart in that way. It, 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 it won't be something to threaten or break the relationship, to break the trust between the two of you. And you know how to be in a relationship. It's just that the chariot, they need to, the problem is they need to understand if they really want this, 
because being with you is not going to be easy. And when I say being with you is not going to be easy, I mean, generally, it will be peaceful. But sometimes, obviously, it's not. A lot of people tend to have this misconception somehow that being with you, Virgos, is supposed to be perfect. Like it is, I said before, they project their projection onto you, talking about how it is that you're overly critical. The person that a Virgo, that y'all Virgos are the most critical of is yourselves. But then they don't understand that and they project all their critical thinking onto you. Page of Wands and the Temperance. You here, and now here you are, here you Virgos are feeling like a total idiot because you're trying to safeguard the relationship. And here they are being dysfunctional. Now they're trying to break it up. They don't like the fact that you're talking to somebody else. Meanwhile, you're not even talking to the other person like that. They don't care. Totally trying to isolate you. And the whole time, they're so stupid. Truth be told, they're not even paying attention to, once again, right? The world, once again, how it is that you've been trying to safeguard and keep the relationship pristine. The things that you Virgos do for other people that you're in a relationship with or people that you love in general that you will never get credit for because you've never pointed it out to them. They're just stupid. They're not ready. Anyway, comment on the video, like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share the video, smash the subscribe button, smash the like button, hit the notification bell, set that notification bell to all so you can be notified whenever I drop my videos.